One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so my name is Kimberly Weiss, and today I will be discussing my future career, career goal of becoming a social and community service manager. But before I tell you about the application, let me tell you a little bit about myself. <laughs> my whole life, I have wanted a career that would be beneficially that would beneficially impact someone's life. When I first declared my major and minor, I was a psychology major and a child advocacy minor. While taking child advocacy courses, I realized in order to properly be an advocate for children, I also needed to be able to be an advocate for their families. Therefore, in general, I needed to learn more about violence and domestic violence. When choosing courses for my individualized studies minor, I chose courses that taught me how to be an advocate for children, their families, and victims of abuse. Throughout my minor, I have learned the principles of for effectively preventing child abuse and what is needed to help families where child abuse has occurred. But I also learned the origins of gender-based violence and ways it can be prevented. By taking a variety of social work, child advocacy, and women gender study courses, I learned that violence is everywhere and is not limited to any certain age, gender, race, class, or sexuality. I also realized that any group of people could use someone in their corner to help advocate for them in their time of need. Therefore, based on my learning experiences at WSU, an occupation I am interested in is after I graduate as a social and community service manager. So what exactly is a social and community service manager? Social and community service managers typically work for nonprofit organizations, social, social service companies, and government agencies. Social and community service managers coordinate and supervise different social service programs. They plan and execute advocacy awareness programs, analyze data to determine if their <laughs> programs are effective, and they develop and manage budgets. They also manage the staff that provides different social services to the public, such as, uh, such as social workers. Social and community service managers work with people of all different demographics. They consist of, but are not limited to, older adults, children, lower income households, and the homeless community. <coughs> Education required for this occupation is a bachelor's degree in social work, public or business administration, public health, or in a related field such as psychology. However, I would also need to gain at least five years of experience working in a related occupation, such as an advocate of some kind, before eventually becoming a social and community service manager. Other required knowledge for this occupation consists of being able to provide customer and personnel services, having administration and management skills, knowledge of human behavior and performance, and knowing different therapy and counseling techniques. My background in knowledge in psychology would be beneficial for this career because I have learned a lot of information about psychological research methods, personality, learning, motivation, and human behavior. Additional skills I would need for this profession are analytical, communication, interpersonal, managerial, time management, and problem solving skills. Although this career may not involve a lot of physical ex exertion, it may be uh, very emotionally draining. Something very interesting I learned um, during this re research is that according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, social and community service managers make an average of about $63,000 per year. Employment for social and community service managers is expected to increase by 10% from 2012 to 2024, partially due to the increase of older, adult, older adults needing assistance. However, this may be limited by budget cuts from state funding. A current part-time position I found in a mental health, or a, a current position, a part-time position I found is a mental health associate for Alina Health. As a mental health associate, I would provide patient care, assist with collecting data through interviews, and observe physical and psychological safety concerns for the patients. Although this position is only part-time, I believe it would be beneficial for, for um, getting future career opportunities. Goodwill 
Industries in St. Paul is looking for community is work, looking for a community work incentives coordinator. I would be helping people with disabilities get out of poverty by promoting work themed on public benefits. Another position I found is a social services director for Wellcove Healthcare. As a social services director, I would be helping residents achieve and maintain their maximum psychosocial functioning in an impediment. I'd be serving as a residence advocate and I would contact the family with any changes in their health and or behavior. Um, during this doing this career research has been very beneficial to me because it, op it has opened my eyes to different careers that I can pursue after college. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.